Hi, welcome back to the Elite Automation YouTube channel. I'm Malachi Greb, owner, CEO, engineer of Elite Automation, whatever I am for the day. But today, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys, uh, if you wanna do a download to a controller and your project revision does not match what your uh, controller revision is, how you can go about changing that. So let's go ahead and jump into the screen real quick. We're gonna go ahead and click right here where it says offline. It's gonna pop down. We're gonna say download. Uh, depending on your version, this could be somewhere else, and you can also relocate this to other places up here, so just keep that in mind. All right, so you'll get this box that pops up that says, hey, your revisions are not compatible, basically. And so as you can see right here, firmware version 32 and firmware ver version 28. So I just updated the firmware of the PLC. So you can update the firmware right here. So come in here, and then you get the option to change what firmware uh, you want to run in that PLC. Uh, if you don't have the firmware packages, then you're not going to be able to change the firmware of that PLC, and you may even potentially have a PLC that can't handle the certain firmware that you have in your program. So what we're going to do is show you how to change it within the program. So we're going to go ahead and close that box. We're going to come over here to what your uh, project name is, right-click on it, Properties, and then we're going to go right here to Change Controller. Uh, see, it, it's a little bit misleading because it doesn't show you like exactly how to change the uh, revision per se. It, it's saying change controller and you're not really looking to change controller, but that's how you have to go about doing it. So you click change controller and as you can see right here, software version. So we're going to change the software version to the current version that we just seen in that little pop-up dialog box, which is version 32. We're going to OK it. It's going to ask, do we want to save the changes? We'll just say yeah. And then we'll let this thing do its thing. Doing. There we go. Okay, as you can see, we're finally up and loading now. Uh, and another thing that you probably definitely noticed is that the UI has changed quite a bit. They've done a little bit of a refresh on the UI, and it's kind of like the first refresh since like 1932 or something like that. A little bit of an exaggeration, but. Uh, you know, to me, it was kind of weird at first whenever whenever it went to this new UI, and this was what I was, what I was kind of saying about this part changes. So now your offline stuff's over here now. Um, but yeah, at first this UI was kind of weird, and I didn't like it, and it felt very uh, like Windows developer, like uh, like a VB.net. Like when I've developed some HMIs and stuff like that uh, through VB.net, and those HMIs looked somewhat similar to this, or or at least the uh, programming interface looks similar to this. Uh, but I've kind of gotten accustomed to it, and I think it does look cleaner, especially whenever you're doing programming and stuff like that. Go ahead and click into this real quick. This is an upcoming video we have on how to be able to examine any data type and be able to uh, compare it. So stay tuned for that video. It's coming out here soon. Uh, catch y'all in the next one. Hopefully this video was useful for you guys. If you would like us to help you with any of your robotic cell needs, uh, we specialize in integrating robotic cells. Uh, we do everything from the entire design process to uh, even finding the, the solution that you need to automate. Uh, so we offer that as a consulting service and you can hire us in at any level basically. So it could just be consulting, it j can just be integration, or it could be the whole entire package of uh, we find the thing to automate, we find a way to automate it, we build the system, we run off the system at our facility, and then we tear it back down and bring it to your facility and rebuild it back up again. Uh, so yeah, just keep us in mind, business cards at the end of this video, and I'll catch you on the next one.